is Bolasha. Bolasha. Bolasha is going to take us all over the places from right now onwards. Yeah? So we're not switching buses. We're not getting on, uh, you know, public transport from here on. But it's going to be on the bus that we go from place to place. Yeah? At least that's the plan. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, for us on the agenda is, well, say goodbye to Berlin, bye TV Tower. Um, we actually head down to Dresden, as I said yesterday, and it's about two and a half hours of a ride. And we have one short toilet break on the way there for, well, short, about half an hour, you know, so you can get some coffee, snacks, whatever. And uh, then as we get into Dresden, I would like to do a bit of a walk around the old town, just a tour to familiarize you with what is there to see in Dresden. And uh, then there's going to be a break for everybody for your own explorations. You may want to go see the, uh, the Frauenkirche, which is uh, a church of Dresden. It's pretty famous, I'm going to tell you about. And there are um, just a few neat places you can hang out over there, enjoy the views. Dresden is really more historic in appearance you know, than you've seen it here in Berlin. So yeah, I would say an old style German town. I'm sure you will appreciate that. Um, the weather forecast cancelled the rain, so that's good. <laughs> I hope that uh, they're right with that. And uh, yeah, after our break in Dresden, we continue then over into the Czech Republic. You all have your passports on you, you know, just in case there is a control, you know, it's good to, to have them. And uh, well, then in Prague, another walking tour uh, with me around uh, the old town of Prague, showing you a few places that we don't get to see on the city tour tomorrow. And eventually, um, I will try to put our dinner at 7 o'clock right now, because apparently the third group, whom we're still missing, is flying into Prague this afternoon because believe it or not their morning flight got cancelled again and uh, they're flying in this afternoon if that flight is not getting cancelled um, but it looks like that is on actually so um, we should be able to meet them up but I would like them to have dinner with us already and for that reason I'm trying to call the restaurant later and postpone our dinner to a little bit later so that we can have dinner together at least so yeah, that way we will be all reunited or united, not reunited, huh? just united. Reunited is not a good term over here. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, um, on the way out uh, of Berlin, we will be on the Autobahn. Have you heard of the Autobahn? Are you excited about the Autobahn? Yeah! What is exciting about the Autobahn? Tell me. No speed limits, exactly. I got to disappoint you. We have a speed limit for buses. <laughs> it's only for cars and motorcycles that there is no speed limits on the Autobahn. But yeah, occasionally you, you see some objects flying by on the Autobahns. <laughs> Those are the fast cars. <laughs> um, it happens only occasionally. Most Germans actually drive pretty decently. Yeah? They go maybe 140 kilometers or so. It's less than 100 miles an hour actually, about 80 so. Um, but yeah, with the bus we're only allowed 100 kilometers, which is how much of miles? Huh? Anybody knows how many miles? 60. 61, 62, somewhere around there. Yes, you're good. You learn about metric system, I guess, in school? Huh? Yeah. Uh, come on, you do. Hey, hey, hey. Don't deny it. A little bit, huh? A little bit of science. So yeah, we are in the metric system. So when you see speed limit sign posts, of course, they're all in metric. You know, they're all in kilometers over here. Um, yeah, and um, it's going to be pretty flat as we're leaving Berlin. Uh, Berlin is like a pancake. You know? We're about 150 miles from the sea, from the no, no, from the Baltic Sea actually, and uh, the highest elevation we have in Berlin is about um, 200 feet above sea level or something like that. So it's, it's really low actually over here. We will um, then, as we get closer to Dresden, there's going to be some hills. You know? and Dresden is on uh, the river called Elbe. Uh, if you've studied a bit about the Second World War, you may have heard about the Elbe, because that's when uh, that, that is where American and Soviet troops met, you know, from the two fronts, from the side in the Second World War, basically kind of signaling the end of Second World War in Europe, at least already. Huh? There's still some fighting going on afterwards, but uh, in 1945 at the Elbe River, Americans and Russians shook hands. It's kind of a big symbolic date over there. It was not at Dresden, it was north of Dresden. Um, 
Good. Any big issues, any big questions coming up early in the morning? No? Just about our bus, a few words maybe, yeah? Um, I will sit down in a moment. We do have seat belts on each and every seat. Guess what you have to do with those? Use them! You have to wear them, exactly. It's obligatory by the law, we have to wear seat belts. So please, everybody, make sure that you are um, fastening your seat belt while riding. Then we also have, uh, well you probably figured that out already, there's armrests that fall down if you're sitting in the aisle. And then there is a little button down here that uh, if you uh, want to handle, it, it's not a button, it's a handle. If you're sitting in the aisle over here, and you can actually lean a little bit further back, yeah, the seats are reclining. But please double check for the person sitting behind you, because I know that from experience when sitting on a plane, you know, if you have the person in front of you reclining their seats, then hmm, it's not so easy. Yeah. 